help you to learn the Arabic language. So basically, I thought to make a video to explain the difference between the MSA and the spoken Arabic. The MSA is the modern standard Arabic and it is called al in Arabic. So al is used in formal speech and in writing. The spoken Arabic is the Arabic dialect. We use that in our daily life. There are pros and cons for the both. Starting with the MSA, the pros of it is that it uh, helps you in the literature. And if you are into the media sector, it will help you too. The cons of that is, it is not the spoken language. Like when you speak in MSA, people will definitely understand you. But on the other hand, when they reply you, they will reply you in the spoken language. So you will not understand. Plus, it is very hard to learn too. And you will find less opportunities also to practice the language because people don't speak in MSA. Now, talking about the spoken Arabic, the pros of it is that you will be able to understand the locals what they are saying, especially when you travel. And you will find very much opportunities to practice the language because everybody speaks in spoken Arabic. And it's way easier than the standard Arabic. The cause of that is being uh, like spoken Arabic has many dialects as I've said uh, so uh, the dialect is sometimes it's squared or formed just for one country so I highly recommend you to choose a dialect which is used in many countries so when you speak the others will understand you so if it's even uh, spoken Arabic or MSA it will totally depend on what is your approach so, we'll come back with a new video soon. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye.